Honeycomb Deluxe, uh-huh. which is the tremolo. And the reason that we couldn't t- talk about it really is because our good friend Daniel Tyak went out to JHS a while back to film a secret video for April Fool's Day, which you guys have all pretty, probably seen already. Um, but we weren't allowed to talk about it until after that. He went out there. Oh, was, so that's the detail you couldn't yeah, talk about. Yeah. He, okay. um, he went out there. I was talking to him. I was like, oh, have fun at JHS. Uh, bring me back some pedals. Yeah. And we were both like, ha, 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 And then he brought back pedals yeah. from, from Josh. They, they pulled some pedals out of the scratch and dent pile for us. Um, at the Twin 12. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and the, the Honeycomb. The Honeycomb Deluxe. Yeah. The Tremolo. Which is great. So I've gotten to use the Tremolo on the bass. That thing's a ton of fun. Uh huh. Um, basically, it's everything that my EA trim should be, except I don't know how to build stuff. <laughs> um, but it sounds great. It's a great little trim. I like being able to set like the two different speeds. Uh huh. And uh, that's actually I, very useful. Though I kind of just have them set like vaguely, um, like. At, a half from each other sure uh or double each other yeah depending on how you look at it that's kind of what i was doing with it yeah bass is a hard instrument to use tremolo on for a lot of this kind of music that we are doing at church these days because everything is so like rhythmic and like having a tremolo on bass just throws sure drummers for a loop <laughs> i believe it um but 
what I did the last time at the end of the service, you know, sometimes if there's nothing going on, uh, we kind of mess around with stuff. So I turned every pedal on my board on. Of course. That's the way you get the and, best tone, uh, right? That is. And then I unplugged my bass because <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> nope. Not anymore. Um, not with all those fuzzes running. And uh, I kind of was just like playing with knobs and like that tremolo. I mean, the tre- even before I was doing that, that tremolo sounded really good. Uh-huh. Uh, I haven't really had a chance to play around with the Twin 12 as much. I did listen to you mess around with it, and it sounds really great. Yeah, it's, gr- it's a great pedal. Uh, well, let's, let's segment this so I can drop stuff into videos, and we'll talk about the Honeycomb some more. Sure. The thing that I really like about the Honeycomb is how amp-like it is. It really reminds me of an amp-style tremolo, the way that it's dialed in. Right. Uh, it's very kind of warm and soft. It's not. You're not going to get your helicopter sounds with it. Your hard cuts. Um, I think with very, the depth turned all the way up, it it kind of it doesn't do the square wave thing. It's always yeah. it's still a sine wave. Um, I re- was really enjoying it. All my other tremolo pedals that I have right now have like a dozen knobs on them, are like super tweaker pedals where you can just do all sorts of stuff. It was right. a lot of fun to mess around with a pedal that. It, even though it has two switches and four knobs, it's it's actually very basic. It's volume, it's shape or depth, and then it's two different speed knobs. And it's just it was really refreshing to have just this kind of simple options, have it sound really good at every setting, and then the ability to change speed based on two different speed knobs is kind of a bit of a revelation to me like yeah this is a lot of fun this is very usable like i have my slow kind of uh you know drifty corner kind of tremolo for drifty parts that i would play and then i have like this the sped up like fast rampy sort of choppy sort of sound on the other speed and it was a lot of fun to be able to jump in between the two uh tons of volume on tap on the volume side i'd I basically decided a year or two ago that I will never buy a tremolo pedal again that does not have a volume control. Absolutely. And that that was always... So I, for a long time, I had the Dan Electro Tuna Melt, uh-huh. uh, which is part of their like mini food series, but that was actually like a revered trim pedal. It's, act, it's actually a really great Especially little pedal. Especially because that was like a, mid, or a, a late 90s, early 2000s pedal in an era where like trim pedals were kind of hard to come by. Uh-huh. Um, there was I mean, really only just the Boss you pedal. You had the Boss TR2, and maybe, did EHX have something, maybe? Probably. They have the Worm, but that's kind of abstract. Yeah. So, the Tuna Melt Trim was they really... They the Pulsar, like, too. Uh, the Pulsar is the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Uh, so, the Tuna Melt Trim is a great sounding tremolo. Tremolo? I don't know. Tremolo? Tremolo. We're going to get notes about this. Tremolo. I'm going to be switching back and forth. Throughout. Tremolo. Tremolo. Ha, let's throw a wrench in it and call it tramola. Tremolo. Tremola. Tremola. So you got this tremola. Tremolo. Tremolo. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to make for the best YouTube demo. Um, but anyway, so so that thing, um, it sounded great. Uh huh. But yeah, without the volume pedal, it just sounded weird in a, mi- in a live mix. Um. I wanted to read. You mean without the volume knob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. Without the volume knob, um, it sounded weird on the live mix. Uh, it was just hard. I just didn't feel comfortable with it. It's hard to get. The problem is with a tremolo or a tremola uh, is that it effectively is cutting your signal in half. Well, it's cutting and even it. Even if the peaks are at the same volume as your normal signal, you're losing volume because the lows are or down so it's nice to be able to boost your peaks a little bit so that the middle of the sine wave is more is closer to your 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 unity signal right no exactly yeah it's uh it's yeah anyway um so here's the description of this pedal from jhs just like our discontinued honeycomb single the honeycomb deluxe gives you true vintage analog tone and ease of operation that will open up a new palette of sounds Reminiscent of early Fender Blackface and Vintage Vox Tremola circuits <laughs> from years gone by. The only difference is that this one has those over-the-top options for uh, the more demanding Tremaholic. 
We start by giving you an extra LED for the rate speed that stays on even when the pedal is in bypass, so you can definitely have an epileptic seizure. <laughs> I added I added that part. Oh, okay. <laughs> this allows a constant monitor on your speed. It's really convenient, but like at high rates of speed, it like it, it is epileptic. It's really like yeah, distracting. Uh, the next thing we do is add a second foot switch that allows you to alternate between two independently controlled speed knobs. This is like having two tremolos in one enclosure. Uh, the knobs are located over a third LED that is always on as well. When the LED is red, it means you have the red, uh, the red speed knob activated. And when it's green, you guessed it, you have the green knob activated. On V2s, you will see a small red switch inside the pedal on the circuit board. Flip the switch down for slower speed ranges or keep it up for the stock speed range. Uh, so that's it. So, uh, yeah, it's a really fun trim. Uh, I haven't used it with guitar yet. Uh -huh. um, and I, I mean, honestly, like, I think what I bring to this podcast is bass. Yeah, anyway. you're, you're our uh, um, ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually... Uh, I like it. I, I'm really enjoying it. What I've used it so far. Uh huh. So I mean, like um, I said, it's a really simple. Well, not really simple. It's 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 the basics of what you need, with you know some neat little extra options. And it's just at the, at the core of it is an actually just really great sounding, natural sounding tremolo. Right. What it is is it's a simple, like it's a straight ahead like the description says it's a straight ahead classic styled uh -huh. tremolo um but it does give you the option with the two different rate knobs yeah isn't there and a, the volume isn't there a dip switch inside that you can that's i already read that part did you right? i must yeah. have glossed over